Looking back to your day, how much time do you think you spend on looking for things and putting things away? There we go. Putting things away and finding them in a convenient way go together and you can probably see the link between the two. Let's have a look at putting things away. There are a couple of ideas surrounding putting things away and most of them are very practical ones. For one thing, it makes perfect sense to store things that you use all the time near to the place where you would use them. On the other side, it would also indicate that things that you don't use on a regular basis can go a bit further away. Why is that? Because it doesn't matter if you spend a minute to get to the place where that thing is stored because you only do it once a week, once a month, once a year. On the other hand, something that you use daily or even more than one times a day, it makes perfect sense to have them on the countertop or in a drawer right next to where you're working. A couple of examples. The lawnmower. Let's say you have a lawn, you have a lawnmower. You don't do that every day. So it doesn't really matter if you have to walk a minute to the shed, get the lawnmower out and get going and then put it away afterwards because you only do that once in a while. However, looking at the kitchen, if you cut stuff on a regular basis, it makes sense to have the knives right next to the chopping block or to a place where you usually work in order to avoid doing a long trip every single time. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Another thing is that you may want to put away things from your work surface because it doesn't help you achieve the task that you are trying to achieve. Again, in the kitchen, while you would need your knives on a regular basis, what about that mixer? If you don't use it constantly, and most likely you don't, it makes sense to put it back in a box and shove it away under the work surface in a shelf or in a cupboard because you know it's there and you can easily access it, but it doesn't sit in your way. So there are a couple of levels to this. The same goes for the office. If you end up having a lot of stuff sitting on your desk, that will A, take away your focus and B, will be in the way if you have to expand whatever you're doing. So you spend a bit of time tidying up every single time you need to expand. Not necessarily the best use of your time. Now, looking at those storage things, how about finding things? If you have stored things correctly and in a very efficient way, then finding things will be much easier. And that is true for most situations you might encounter in the residential home or in the office. But in some cases, things shift a lot. And let's look at an, a business, for example. You may have a shop window where you sell stuff. Obviously, you can't rely on the things being in the same place all the time because once they're sold, you may want to replace them with something new. And that might not be the same item. So there is an element of reshuffling that needs to be done. Remember what I said about the desk? If you have to reshuffle all the time, it doesn't really help you. It also doesn't help you in terms of finding things because each time you reshuffle, you have to start remembering where things are. So not ideal. What you need is a mix of both, is a mix of intelligent putting away in places that make sense and where you can find things easily, regularly reshuffling into places that make sense in order to have a bigger space that you can use as the location where you put things for now and then reassign. In the shop window situation, that would be reorganizing the remaining items in order to have a bigger space that you can then dress properly. The same goes for a kitchen. If you have lots of stuff that you use regularly, you may want to have that in one place. However, if you have 
food items that come in, let's say vegetables, and you cook on a daily basis, those will not always stay in the same place. They will shift in your fridge from left to right. They will shift in your storage left to right in order to have the vegetables together and make space for the tins that you might, may have bought because there's no sense in putting the tins in between the, veg uh, the vegetables. Maybe look at your kitchen and your work surfaces and your office if there's room for improvement. Put things into places where you can easily access them but where you may not necessarily see them all the time. Try it out, come back next time and stay clutter aware. If you want more, there are options. Click the round logo to subscribe to this channel or select the playlist in the middle to see more content or check out the links in the description below. Oh, and feel free to like this video.